So before we start this video, I'd like to give you guys a short message and also let you know that this video is in collaboration with Cerebral Green, who are hosting a India Cleanup Week on occasion of International E-Waste Day, which is today on 14th October. And India has been the third largest producer of e-waste, you know, accumulating 3.2 million tons of e-waste. And that's a lot. And in the long run, it's going to hurt us and everyone that's living in this country and around this country. So, you know, on the occasion of e-waste day, I would, you know, urge you guys to donate and clear up all the electronic devices that are, you know, not being used and, you know, get to the three R's, the fundamentals, reduce, reuse and recycle. And, you know, you can donate anything that's not being used. And this includes your smartphones, computers, laptops, earphones, chargers. If you don't need something, don't buy it. It's just going to contribute to e-waste, you know, eventually. So if you have one charger already that's working, don't buy a new one. Just try using that and, you know, in turn, you'll help the country be a, you know, safer, cleaner place. I'll leave links down below to, you know, Cerebral computers and all the outlets where you can donate your, you know, old electronic devices that have finished their lifetime or, you know, finished their utility. You're done using them or they're dead. So they can maybe, you know, reuse or refurbish them and, you know, do something better. Maybe donate it to, you know, people who are in need, children who are in need, you know, education centers that might need such devices that can help, you know, in education and just learning. So yeah, I'll leave links down below and I hope you guys understand the importance of reducing e-waste. Now, that being said, let's get to the video. All right, so it finally happened. It's actually here. After years of waiting, NZXT's Kraken X and Z series coolers are now available in white. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So in this video, let's talk about it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Kraken Z63 in white specifically. This is the 280mm liquid cooler, and it's gonna be the same as the black Z63 or the black X63. So same overall you know, design, same internal, same performance. The two key differences are gonna be that you get Air 2 ARGB fans in white that are here in the front, and you also get the cooler that is also powder coated in this you know really nice glossy finish so the cooler is in white so are the fans and that's the short DLDR you know for people who don't want to watch the whole video if you wanted a white cooler if you're waiting on a white cooler for your you know next PC build you can definitely go ahead and buy it now for the people who want to know more about these coolers the Z series and the X series in detail I've already made a video in the past actually last year on the X53 and also the Z63 in black but again, I'll repeat the highlights for you guys. This Z63 has the Acetec Gen 7 design pump, so it's gonna be quieter and does give you better performance. And the pump noise is really low, like you can barely hear it. And even on max RPM, if the PC is like, you know, at a distance, you won't be able to hear it. And coupled with NZXT's signature fluid dynamic bearing fans, which even on the highest RPM make very less noise. So the acoustic performance of this PC or this cooler in general is really good. And, you know, if you're doing audio sensitive work like, you know, video editing, video production, audio production, music production, those kind of things will not be hindered. Your performance, your work will not be hindered by the PC. This does not make noise. So if you're looking for a silent build, I think the cooler coupled with an NZXT case will do really good. And in my opinion, the best combo for the new white, you know, 
coolers or even the black coolers is going to be the H510 Flow case, which has really good airflow, has really good temperatures. I saw a 10 degree difference compared to my previous N60 case. So yeah, couple this new Z63 white with a H510 Flow and white or black, whatever you want to, and build your PC that way. So you get the best acoustic performance as well as the best cooling performance. Now with that being said, let's talk about the cooler itself. So the best feature about this cooler is going to be towards the front, that 2.36 inch LCD display that can you know, display 24 bit color and it supports a lot of things. You could display a GIF on there, you could display you know, graphics, you could display a photo, a text, whatever you want to using NZXT's CAM software. And CAM is a huge part of the NZXT experience in my opinion. With CAM, you increase the utility by a lot. You can not only monitor your PC, but also customize the lighting, the you know, fan curves. What do you want your PC to do? Do you want it to run really fast? So then you can clock up to the performance mode where all the fans and the pump will be spinning at max RPM to give that CPU that you know, cool, steady temperature. And if you wanted a silent PC, you could click on the silent profile and everything goes quiet. And let's say you're just doing things like browsing or recording something and you can you know have your PC make no noise at all so that's that and you also have extra features like the you know RGB controller the Hue controller N60 RGB Hue controller built in to the Kraken Z63 with the breakout cable you can connect you know other NZXT RGB accessories and in my case it was really useful because I have those two extra fans in my build and that I have connected to the cooler's breakout cable and then they can you know be controlled via cam so that's a really nice feature so you don't have to buy an extra controller and if you don't have a smart devices controller in your pc you know in your case that is an nzxt case you don't have to buy one you can just use your liquid coolers rgb controller and that should be able to you know power up all your rgb accessories so if you have a led strip extra fans you know cable combs whatever it is that is NZXT, it should work. And the whole ecosystem, you know, the whole family coming together with an NZXT case, an NZXT motherboard, NZXT RGB accessories, the experience is, in my opinion, really nice. And, you know, installation of this cooler is very easy, especially if you have an NZXT branded case and motherboard, it'll barely take you five minutes. You don't even have to follow the guide if you want to. And talking about the guide, NZXT has gone eco-friendly this time around, and they've gone with a QR code with a small paper they're saving paper. And again, talking about the start of the video, e-waste, even including paper manuals contributes to waste. So I really you know, appreciate NZXT going with a you know, QR code, or online downloadable manual instead of a whole paper manual that not a lot of people read. So that's that, as I said, installation is pretty easy. NZXT case or non-NZXT case, you won't take more than 10 minutes, even if you're a first time builder. So, you know, that's the confidence. And in terms of cooling performance, it's pretty good. Like. It is what you expect from a 280 mm liquid cooler. Now it's gonna depend on what CPU you're using, what case you're using, what speed your fans are running at. But in my opinion, for the temperature of my room, I get really good results. I'm getting, you know, maybe 39 degrees Celsius idle, you know, 40 to 50 degrees Celsius in medium load and around 60 to 65 in gaming and higher load conditions when I'm editing videos or playing games for long sessions. But it's not about how much temperature you're getting, it's about how long it can hold that temperature. And like, let's say if you're getting really low temperatures, but then it spikes up as soon as you start a game, that's not nice in my opinion. So, you know, this is liquid cooling done right. If you're you know, using a high-end software, if you're playing a game and the temperature reaches 65, it's gonna stay at 65 for a very long time. So that's what I like. And again, different CPUs, different GPUs will you know, react differently. But for my case, the cooling temperatures, the cooling performance is really good. And talking about you know, other things, the radiator itself is again, really nice quality. It's aluminum, it's 30 millimeters thick. The tubing as well is really nice quality. It's reinforced in the Kraken X3 and Z3 series. It's really nice, thick and good quality. And the pump itself is of really good quality as well. And you get your Intel as well as AMD mounting brackets. So that's pretty good. And yeah, for AMD, you just use the you know, back plate that came in your motherboard. But for Intel, you have an extra back plate that's included in the box. You have a USB cable that's included. You have a breakout cable that's included. And that's all that's needed for the cooler to be you know, up and running. Few suggestions I'd like to give NZXT is maybe try to reduce the cables because it is a lot to manage them once you've you know, set up the cooler and also switch to USB Type-C 
for the pump instead of USB, you know, micro USB, because that only goes in one way and USB type C is much more advantageous when it comes to cable management, because it can be put in either way and then you can route the cable, you know, in the best cable management way possible. So again, that's a quick suggestion. But apart from that, it's pretty good. The white powder coating has a slight, you know, shimmer to it, slight gloss to it, which I really like. So it kind of reflects light really well inside your PC. And that's pretty much it. The cooling performance is good, the design is good, the fans itself, the white fans, I really like. And coupled with NZXT Cam, the experience is pretty good. And it's slightly pricey, yes, in India it's gonna be a slightly expensive cooler, but this is a first generation product, nobody else has anything close to it, nobody has a display that's that good quality, nobody has software that is, you know, so refined. So I think NZXT deserves to charge a premium here. I'm not saying, you know, it's, a fair price but it is a first generation product and the competition does not have anything to counter it so the price is justified in a way but overall you're getting really good product a really good experience for your money it is a premium product and that's how the experience is going to be as well and i hope you guys enjoyed this video guys if you did go ahead and smash the like button as well as go ahead and subscribe to the channel and in the comments down below let me know what do you think about the white nzxt crack and x and z coolers and that's pretty much it. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And do try your bit to reduce e-waste. My name has been Yusuf, you guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, keep smiling, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.